Space popcorn. Space hot dog. Space chicken nuggets. We're eating everything in Disney World Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Let's go. May the force be with us. We are here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to eat everything on the menu. We've done this at other lands, and in other lands we usually have to tell you we're not going to consume stuff like Mickey bars and pretzels and popcorn, but um... They don't have that here. It's not really, doesn't not exist really, here, really so sure. we will be bopping around to the different quick service stands, quick service restaurant to find the best space food. The one place we are going to skip out on today is Oga's Cantina for the same reason that we skip out on table service restaurants in other lands. It's a lot of food. We do full reviews of those kinds of restaurants. So if you do want to see a new review of Ogus Cantina, let us know. But also you can check out some of our older reviews of Ogus as well. Yes, I went there recently in my best day ever video as well as the weird cocktails video. So you can check those out to feel the vibes of Ogus and see DJ Rex. To feel the vibes. But now we got to go see another droid about our breakfast. Yeah. It's time for our first feeding of the day. We are here at Ronto Roasters for breakfast. Oh, oh no. Things are happening. Ronto Roasters is this snack stand right here at the end of the Black Spire Outpost, which is the marketplace. It is where you can get the famous Ronto wrap, and we will be back to get that in a bit, but for now we're getting breakfast, because there's actually a breakfast version of the Ronto wrap, as well as some other breakfast-only goodies. Just know that breakfast is only available till 11 a.m., so if you want the breakfast items, get here early, get that mobile order in early. Here is our breakfast haul. Breakfast haul. The kind droid made this for us. Yeah, he turned he turned it right out. Yeah, he did. Uh, this is the Ronto morning wrap. So it is eggs, grilled pork sausage, shredded cheddar, and peppercorn sauce in that fabulous grilled pita bread. Just next to that, we have the Triple Suns breakfast wrap, which is our plant-based option. It's got plant-based eggs, smoky chickpea onion slaw, and a roasted tomato sauce also in that pita bread. And then we also are doing the Rising Moons Overnight Oats, which are oats, dragon fruit, yogurt, and seasonal fruit. And last but certainly not least, we are trying the non-alcoholic drink here. They do have this all day, but we just figured we'd get it here at breakfast. This is the Tatooine Sunset, which is made with unsweet tea, lemonade, melon, and blueberry. That actually sounds good. Interesting. All right, we have cut the Ronto wraps in half. We're gonna start with the plant-based one which I love the plant-based lunch one. So. so do I. I'm not gonna lie, I expected not to love this, but I actually like it. It's fine. It's, I, I wouldn't choose it over the regular breakfast ronto wrap, but it's got the same sauce in the plant-based lunch one that we love, and it kind of hides the plant-based egg a little bit, which makes it a little more tolerable. For me, plant-based egg is a textural thing because I can tell it's not egg. Um, but the slaw itself is crunchy, it's creamy, it's got a nice kick to it, yeah. it actually is spicy. So if you're a plant-based eater, I think this is a great breakfast option. That's definitely one of the better plant-based breakfasts I've had. Yeah. I'm going to wash that baby down with a little Tatooine Sunset. Oh, you know what? I actually kind of love this. I don't normally love the mocktails or even the pre-made cocktails at Disney restaurants because they're too sweet. But because this is made with tea and lemonade, it's like a fruity Arnold Palmer. So it's got a little bit of the blueberry. I don't really taste the melon, but it mostly just tastes like an Arnold Palmer. So if you're into that, it's pretty good. It's a lot of boba. It's a lot of boba. I gotta get down past the boba. That's really good. I like overnight oats. If you don't like the texture of overnight oats, this definitely has it. But the boba and all the fresh fruit on top is like loaded on there. Super fruity. I feel like you can get through with every bite in this. Um, it's a very light breakfast. So if you're an overnight oats person and you just need something to kind of get you going in the morning and you're in Galaxy Edge, I would get this. Not necessarily go out of your way level, but pretty good. And now this might be the thing I was most excited about for this whole video. I love a breakfast Ronto wrap, but I normally spend my mornings in Hollywood Studios trying to ride rides. Same. So. Same. It is so good. I can eat like four of these right now. You've got that fabulous grilled sausage, which yes, I know I don't like hot dogs, but I like this. And they're different, okay? And then I love the addition of the egg and the cheese, which is not on the lunchtime version. And the star of the show for me is always the grilled pita. Oh, yeah. So to say the star of the show for me is the sauce. Mm. The sauce on this is like next level. I'm going to go sauces in all in all. Me too. We're a condiment kind of fans yeah. over here. Yep. So. This is definitely a winner for me. We just finished our delicious breakfast. Now we're going to do a little shopping here in the uh, marketplace. 
I'm gonna pick out um, a plush for you that I think fits your personality. I'm gonna pick out a plush for you that I think fits your personality. Great, this should be good. Yeah, there's so many of them. I know. Okay, so I think I do love these plushes. I actually have this Stormtrooper. They're very in price a little bit, but they're usually $22.99, but some of them, if they're bigger, might be a little bit less or more, depending on the size. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're doing a bit right now, so I'm gonna pick Jar Jar Binks because that's obviously, he's actually kind of cute, but obviously that's the funniest option. So I'm gonna go with that. These plushes are very, oh my gosh, they have a Lando one. Look how cute that is. Um, I love these. I like that you walk a lot. I think I'm gonna go for something else though. Molly has girl boss vibes, much like Princess Leia. All right, I, I got my question picked out for you. Me too. Ready? I don't, yeah, one, one two, two, three. three. Uh, I thought we were doing a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were doing a bit. You have girl boss vibes, like Princess Leia. I thought we were doing something funny, so I went for the, the, oh, okay. the funniest option I could find. Yeah. I'll, I'll try again. All right, you got your new answer? Yeah, I picked Doc Ondar. Okay. He is the owner of the antiquity shop here, right. owner of Rare Goods. Yeah. And if you ever go to Quincy's house, she has a lot of weird rare goods. She's been trying to get her Lord of the Rings sword into an episode of RTT for like months. Okay, well, let's uh, move past the awkward um, stuffed animal situation and I'll buy you some popcorn. How about You'll that? You'll buy me some popcorn? Yep. I'm definitely not gonna eat it all. So this is Katsaka's Kettle. It's one of the snack stands here in Batu. It's got two different varieties of popcorn. You can also get their popcorn bucket here, which is a little droid, mouse droid. But we got the two varieties of popcorn. They have one that's just regular popcorn, but it's the buttered blue grains and it's kind of blue. And then they have the Alpas Molly. So I am trying the uh, regular old popcorn because I can't have red food coloring and I think Molly would kill me if I ate the Katsaka's. Oh, it's good. It's crunchy, warm, salty popcorn. It's green, even though they call it blue, which is kind of weird. This is honestly a fun thing. I don't know if I would go out of my way for this. Definitely not, because it's just regular popcorn. But you can fill your popcorn buckets up with this, so that's a good option to try this. Did you want to talk about that? I guess I can stop eating it for three seconds to explain. That, that would be good. So the Outpost Mix is one of my favorite things in the world. It's two different flavors. The red ones are chili lime, the purple ones are blueberry lemon pound cake, and together they taste like spicy tricks. It's literally one of my favorite foods of all time. Some people hate it, I don't understand how. Some people love it, maybe you should try it. Considering I just housed almost this full bag of popcorn in like 60 seconds, we're headed to get something to drink. And what do you drink in Galaxy's Edge? Bantha milk. Bantha milk. I was hoping we were gonna get space soda, but no. No. Sorry. It's time for blue milk. Hey! Yeah, Molly. <laughs> I just want to order some milk. We've made it to the milk stand, which is here across from Kylo Ren's ship. This is where you can get the famous blue and green milk from the Star Wars stories. The one that Luke drinks and it looks really gross. Appetizing. It looks really delicious. Sorry, he gets it straight from the Bantha. Well, that's in episode eight. We got our milks. I'm excited. So I have the green milk as seen in episode eight. Both of these are plant-based made with um, rice and coconut milk, but then mine is citrus flavors. And mine is tropical flavors. Nope. These are the non-alcoholic versions. You can get tequila in this one. And rum in this one. But we didn't. We didn't. This regular refreshing milk. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I always describe the milks as somewhere between a smoothie and an icy consistency wise because they're a little gritty. Flavor wise, they're relatively fruity, um, but they are a little more sweet than like a fruit smoothie would be. So Disney World is a terrible place for smoothies and this actually might be one of the closest things you can get to a smoothie, um, which is why I have it for breakfast a lot. I'm sorry if that's... I was going to say, this is a good quick breakfast if you want because it does kind of fill that mm -hmm. smoothie void. Yeah. I like the green without alcohol and the blue with alcohol more. It's definitely, this one's definitely a little more tart than that one. Blue and green milk to me are definitely a very kind of campy Instagram thing. If you're a Star Wars fan, you gotta try blue milk. You've probably been thinking about it for like 40 years now. Yeah. So try the blue milk. Ooh, Molly, we have to digest a little bit. Do you wanna ride Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run? Do you see oh. what my laser eyeballs see? That is a 105 minute wait. Oh, never mind. What if instead 
We go to Doc Ondar's and we look at expensive knickknacks. I like that idea. Okay. Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities is this very cool merch shop that I recommend visiting no matter what, if you're planning to buy something or not, because it's got lots of Star Wars Easter eggs, cool collectibles, and one of the most underrated animatronics in Disney World. Me. That's right. This is animatronic Quincy. You can purchase her for 10 million billion gil jillion credits. But if you don't want to buy Quincy, you could just look at Doc Ondar, who's pretty cool too. Not as good though. Not as good. I also like to always say hello to Bubbles the Abominable Snowman when I'm in here. Yeah. Also note that Doc's is where you can get the legacy lightsaber hilts, which are the hilts for Star Wars characters as opposed to the custom ones over at Sabi's. There's oftentimes a line to look at the legacy lightsabers or a text to return savior place in line. Uh, but make sure when you are going into docks that you let them know if you want to look at lightsabers or not because it's usually a different process just to come into the store versus looking at the lightsabers. What would you do if I got you this Maz Katana statue for Christmas? I would proudly display it in my home in a prominent... And honestly, I'd take my TV out of my living room and just put that there. Molly, I know you're a fan of old Frankie Luke. What if I got you this old Cranky Luke bus? I would be thrilled that it's not young whiny Luke, because uh -huh. I prefer old, old Cranky Luke. Luke. So I too would put this prominently in my house. I might dress him up for seasonally. Oh, that's a good idea. Like put a little, you know, you can have a little Easter bow little tie, Santa hat, a little Santa, Santa, Santa hat. Look, yeah, someone cool. spot me one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to head back for our second feeding at Ronto Roasters. I feel like we were just here. It's like we were just here. Wow. Good thing we love it here, though. I feel like no one ever thanks him for his service to lunch, and I just want to say thank you. Also, I hope they're really greasing his hip flexors. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got our lunch spread from Docking Bay, and it looks delicious. I am excited for this one. Starting with the famous Ronto wrap, which is a roasted pork, grilled pork sausage, peppercorn sauce, and slaw in that pita bread. It, OMG, it is so fabulous. On the more new side, we have the Suki wrap, which is the plant-based version of the Ronto wrap. It's got grilled zucchini, which you can see that beautiful sphere, smoky chickpeas, onion slaw, same thing we had at breakfast, plus creamy garlic tahini sauce and fresh cilantro all wrapped up in that pita bread. I'm excited. We also have the Kyrell pork rinds and it's pork rinds in a blend of chili cheddar smoke and cinnamon i believe it's krill 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 okay i'm excited because i've had these ones before and i weirdly like them because i like weird stuff we also have the uh anduin fruit with muja sauce which is uh sticks of jicama cucumber pineapple melon and dragon fruit doused in a tamarind sauce and dusted with peppercorn ash and now it's my turn to say i think it's muha what i say Muja. All right, Muha. We don't know how to pronounce We're anything in space, apparently. Space is hard. <laughs> we also have two of the adult beverages you can get here. This right here is the Tradition Ale, which is made out of Dogfish Head Brewing Company in Miami, and it is a spiced wheat ale. And then we have the Coruscant Cooler, which is made with Baker's Mark Bourbon, Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur, Carpano Antica Sweet Vermouth, Cranberry, and Lime Juice. Yum. Yum. So we have a full spread going on. Fruit time. It tastes like whatever fruit it is with a little bit of spicy seasoning on it. It's kind of smoky, like almost Chipotle-esque. Yeah. If you've ever found yourself walking by a fruit cart in Disney World, like, no, I could get an apple right now. Get something like this instead. It's the same vibe, but more interesting. It's a lot cheaper to bring apples or whatever in your bag and then buy this small free cup. So again, these have cheese, chili, and cinnamon on them. I'm suspicious. Oh, those are good. Not only like pork rinds. I'm from the south, so I have to. But they're really heavily seasoned. I'm tasting a lot of the cheese and cinnamon and not so much the chili. The chili is almost a little bit of an aftertaste. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, there is a little spice in there. Uh -huh. I like these too. I guess I just like weird space salty snacks. I think you do. I would definitely get popcorn over these, but if you want a shareable that's a little more unique, a little interesting. Now we're trying the plant-based wrap with the zuki. This is one of the spicier things you can get at a quick service in Disney World. Like, hands down. Absolutely. Disney doesn't do a lot of spice and you are immediately 
hit with the heat and the flavor, but it's not just hot for hot sake. There's a lot of good flavor with the chickpeas and the zucchini and that fresh meat of that thing grilled. If you're even slightly like spicy, this is good. It's not overly spicy. I like spice, but I can't tolerate a lot. This is fine. Yeah. And finally, the piece de resistance. Oh, Ron Ron Ron. Cheers. It's a perfectly grilled sausage. And then it's also got like chunks of sausage, like sliced pork that's been grilled too. Yeah. And then it's got the saw in there and the, the, again, the winner's the sauce. The peppercorn sauce. The slaw adds a really good crunch, which I love. And I love the grilled pita. It's amazing. Um, I actually am going to say today, I'm not saying I stand on this forever, but today the Duke wrap is my favorite. My favorite was the breakfast one. This restaurant does usually close, usually around 3 or 4. But you can still get your Ronto wrap because at dinner time at Docky Bay 7, you can order a Ronto wrap there. But not the Zuki wrap. If you want the Zuki wrap before it's 3 or 4, you gotta get here. Alright, drink time. So I've got the Traditional. Traditional. Say it fast. It's from Miami. Just say it fast. Traditional. There you go. And I like a beer. This is good. It's about what I expected. It's kind of like medium bodied. Pretty much any beer drinker is going to be okay with this. It's probably not going to be any beer drinker's favorite beer, but it is going to be good for almost anyone. It's definitely a crowd pleaser. Um, pretty easy to drink, very refreshing, which is great when it's hot outside. Space beer gets a thumbs up from me. And I am trying this one, which is basically a space old-fashioned, but a pre-made old-fashioned cocktail. So not sure how I'll feel about this, but... Okay, I don't hate it, and I tend not to love pre-made cocktails because they're too sweet. Definitely can taste that cherry a lot, but I also, even with it being a little watered down from sitting here, can still taste the Maker's Mark, the bourbon. Okay, next up, we gotta tackle the big boy. The big boy. Docking Bay 7. I'm hungry still. Me so. too. But there's a lot of food there. There's a lot. So, we're headed through the marketplace, which is where you can shop for different creatures. Wait, wait a minute. Do we know them? What's that? Um. I don't like Hello. What are you two doing? We are trying to figure out what this is. It is unfortunate. We hate that. No, I don't mean what are you doing here? Right, so we are We're studying animals and um, this is my porn friend who I am obsessed with. His name is Kyle. <laughs> okay, well, when you guys are done doing this, right. do you yes. want to go eat everything at Docking Bay 7 with us? Please don't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that sounds, sounds fun. Yeah. Okay, well, baby, put down. That, I don't like it any more than you. That time to order a little lunch. This is a light lunch. A light lunch for four. All right, we are getting the Batuan beef with crispy topato stir fry veggies. Ooh. The tuna poke. All right. The smoked cadu ribs. They come with a blueberry muffin. That's a... It's space. It's space. That's normal. That makes sense. It's a regular space side. Um, we're gonna get the hot chicken tip yip. Interested. Very interested. We're gonna get the roasted and Dorian tip yip salad. All right. Love a salad. Uh, we are gonna get the plant-based pollution kefta and hummus garden spread. We're gonna get the kids pasta rings. Oh. I'm ready for that. We're gonna get the kids taco donna veggie dippers. All right. And we're gonna get the kids chicken tip yip. It's the same as the adults, but just a little less food. Probably smart. Probably smart. And then we are gonna get the outpost puff, which is their only dessert. Interesting. We will be getting a moof juice. What is that? Is a, is that milk? That's a non alcoholic specialty beverage. Okay. We are going to be getting a Taco Donna Quencher. That's got your name written all over it. It's made with blue curacao and pineapple, so it sounds so like my nightmare. So it just sounds like it doesn't have your name on it. Yeah. 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 Um, a Gold Squadron Lager. All right. And a Surly Sarlacc. All right. So that's our order. Sounds good. Let's do it. Our mobile order is ready. So we're headed inside Docking Bay 7. Docking Bay 7 is themed to be a location that folks that are shipping goods in and out can stop and get a little local Batuan 
cuisine. Look at this feast. There's a lot going on here. There is a lot of colors. Yeah. It looks good. It does look good. Um, okay, so we are gonna start here. This is the Pyrgenad hot chicken tip yip, and we chose the corn relish and white rice with it, but you can swap around the sides. Right nearby, we've got two of our kids' meals are right here. This is the uh, Ithorian pasta rings kids' meal. Those do come with a little bottle of water, and I think you get to choose your sides, right? Yeah. Yeah, you choose your sides here as well. We've also got the fried chicken tip yip youngling meal. I'm sorry, youngling meal is what these are. And um, this one does come in adult size as well, as we mentioned. And this one, I believe, to be made with impossible meat. So oh. it's actually a plant-based kids. Here we have our first of the alcohols. This is the Taco Donna Quencher. Here we have the Gold Squadron Lager. It's from Blue Point Brewing Co. It is exclusive to Galaxy's Edge. Next we have an adult plant-based option. This is the Felician Kefta and Hummus Garden Spread. That looks really good. It does. Right here we've got the Smoked Kadu Pork Ribs. Again, just served with a muffin. Who doesn't love just, a muffin? Just leaned right up on a muffin. Yeah. Uh, we also have the Pekka Tuna Poke. This here is the non-alcoholic beverage, which is the Moof Juice. This is the Batuan Beef and Crispy Topato Stir Fry. So it's herbed yucca and stir fry veggies. That looks pretty good. It looks really good. This next one is another of the alcoholic drinks. This is the Surly Sarlacc Cocktail. Here you have the Roasted and Dorian Chicken Salad. AKA Tip Yip. Right here we've got the dessert option, which is the Outpost Puff. And last but not least, we have another kid's Youngling, youngling, youngling meal. meal. It's the Taco Donna Veggie Dippers. It's literally just like vegetables and ranch so it looks pretty good you know i don't know if your kids will eat that but we will we will alan is digging into the uh tuna poke it's tuna in a sriracha dressing it's got a green papaya salad pickled mushrooms herbs and garlic yeah it's really good and super light and the tuna itself is fresh which is always good is it so, spicy no, but I'm not the best person to ask about that. It's not that spicy. What you're getting from sriracha is the standard sriracha spice. Uh, the papaya salad beneath it is crunchy and kind of mitigates anything that you would have in terms of spiciness. Duff, this has got some smoked cadu pork ribs over here. Oh, very excited. It's a uh, tangy BBQ sauce, a blueberry corn muffin, and a slaw. Yes, I see. Oh, it's the a corn, corn muffin? muffin? A under blueberry there. corn muffin. This what is, is happening? It's getting weirder and weirder. All right, cheers. That's very good. The meat's very tender, moist, falls right off the bone. Good flavor, very savory. It's, good good, it's a good rib. Okay, but how's the muffin? Corn muffin. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> it's a blueberry corn muffin. I, as somebody from the South, I'm a little bothered it's not just cornbread. <laughs> Why does it need blueberries in it? That is Space. a question. Space. Alan, how's that, uh, gold squadron over there. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's very light. Um, not super weedy for it. Minor hoppiness. I mean, it's, it's a really good, just very drinkable light beer. You're not going to be getting anything that, like, you're not blowing yourself out of the water with something that's a, like, that's a craft beer, but it's enough for somebody who's like, I don't want a Bud Light in space. This is this is a great alternative. Quincy, what you got going on here? Uh, I'm trying out the plant-based option, which is the Felucian Kefta and Hummus Garden Spread. Plant-based meatballs right here, which I'm hoping are kind of like a falafel, but we'll see. The herb hummus, tomato, cucumber, relish over here, and then pita bread. I've had this before and it's excellent, so I'm excited for you oh, to try really? it. Yeah. Yay. I've got a bite of plant-based meatball and herb hummus. Yeah, it's good. It's a really super, super herby hummus. Like, less hummus flavors, more herb flavors. The meatballs are kind of like a falafel, but they're a little bit, like, meatier than falafel, which I guess makes sense considering they're supposed to be plant-based meatballs. It goes together really well, and I love a cucumber relish. This here is the Taco Donna Quincher. It's Bacardi Dragonberry Rum, Blue Curacao, Simply Orange with Pineapple, and Kiwi. So, definitely not a Molly drink, but I might not hate it. Not a Molly drink. <laughs> It's good. It's certainly not a Molly drink. It tastes a lot like an alcohol in Powerade, which is pretty common of drinks in this park. Um, it's pretty tasty though. It's super refreshing. If it were hot today, which it super isn't, but if it were, I'd be happy to drink this. It would definitely cool me down. It does not taste overly alcoholic. You can't really taste the alcohol. It mostly just tastes like a Powerade. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for in a drink, if you're looking for something that might be a good cool drink, 
super late and refreshing, then this could be a good option. I am very excited because I'm going to dig into the Pyrogenade Hot Chicken Tip Yip. It's crispy chicken in a spicy chipotle sauce. It comes with white rice and a relish of corn, shishito peppers, jicama, plantains, and cilantro. And I am super jazzed about the hot chicken. It's smoky chipotle sauce is the best way to describe that. It definitely has some heat. My mouth is a tingle and I'm loving it. It's also just those crispy tip yip nuggets tossed in it, but this is now my preferred way to eat tip yip, which is my was my favorite thing here. I also am loving the slaw, the fresh corn and the peppers and go it it goes really well together. So this is my new favorite thing at Docky Bay 7. And I'm washing it down with the other cocktail here. This is the Surly Sarlacc. It is Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit and Rose Vodka, Minute Maid Limeade, Raspberry, and Spicy Mango. I'm not one that normally loves pre-made cocktails at Disney because I think they're usually too sugary, but I actually do really like this one. It mostly tastes like the limeade and a little bit of floral flavor from the rose, but you can still tell that there's booze in it. Um, so I do normally get beer when I'm in Galaxy's Edge because you know me, I love when they've craft beer specifically made for a land. But if you do want a nice, light, refreshing cocktail, this is very good. And this is less sweet than pretty much anything you're going to get in Oga's Cantina. Duck Fist, yeah. do you want to try that moof juice? I'm try the moof juice. <laughs> I don't love it. <laughs> What's the strongest flavor? The fruit punch is definitely the strongest flavor, but I don't know what chipotle pineapple is, but there is a strange aftertaste to this beverage that is not what I would describe as ideal. Um, as somebody that does not partake in alcohol, I like when there's a like themed non-alcoholic beverage, because I usually feel like I sort of don't have an option to like oh get something fun from the land but um i don't know that i would get that again if i'm being honest <laughs> we appreciate your honesty alan is now going to dig into the uh patu and beef and crispy tapato stir fry so it's beef in a tamarind sauce with fried mushrooms vegetables crispy herbed yucca pickled onions and cilantro process not as much as i would normally like it right but the vegetables are good they maintain crispiness on the yucca. I mean, it's crispy, quite herbaceous, which is nice. Would, um, you, would you get it again? I think if I was looking for like a heartier beef based dish, I would. I'd go between this and like the ribs. But this is like a good option for somebody who just wants to get like a simple stir fry that's not, it's not gonna rock the boat too much. Um, I, this is this is a very like middle of the road sort of meh meal that I would, that I would, I would buy if I was like, I just wanted something to get me through the day. I am moving on to the roasted and Dorian chicken salad, which is marinated chicken, mixed greens, shaved onion and radish. There are grapes in there, tomatoes and cucumber, and then the dressing is a citrus pomegranate vinaigrette with the spicy yogurt drizzle. So I'm pretty excited. It sounds like a good salad. It's good. It's got, um, so the chicken's super moist. All the ingredients are very fresh. It's not the best salad I've ever had because I prefer a tangier salad, and this one definitely has more mild flavors. The only tang that's coming in is from the onions and the cucumber. So it's not like a super zippy salad. It doesn't have any real intense flavors, like a Caesar has intense flavor. The dressing in here is mild. The yogurt drizzle is mild. It all goes together very well. It feels super filling for a salad. There's a ton of that chicken on top. It's a huge portion. Next up, I'm going for one of the kids' meals. This is the Ithorian pasta rings. It's a plant-based meat marinara sauce with pasta and a side of roasted vegetables, which as you can see, is broccoli. I don't love it, but I don't love impossible meat. There's something about the texture, the flavor of impossible meat that is not for me. The pasta is cooked really well. The tomato is nice and sweet. It's herby. I think your kids will eat it. I don't know if your kids would know the difference that it's not meat, but as someone that does eat meat and likes a good delicious meatball or spaghetti, this is not something I would order again. Um, but it's nice that they have this plant-based option on the kids' menu. But for me, if I'm making a plant-based dish, I love that Felician Garden spread that Quincy had. I've ordered that many times. Duck Fist yeah. is trying my favorite, well, previous favorite thing on the menu, definitely my favorite kids' meal. It's uh, the Tip Yip, which is basically a big chicken nugget, house-made mac and cheese. Enjoy your first Tip Yip. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cheers. We're something of experts in the mac and cheese arena around here. How's that stand out? I mean, it's not a white cheddar or a thick and creamy. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good big chicken nugget. I, I guess it's interesting to me that it's your favorite 
that previously it was your favorite dish because it's sort of, uh, I don't know, just like straight in, it's a chicken nugget. Like it's not, in a world of pork ribs and, and blueberry corn muffin. And, well, what you don't know, Duckfist, is they recently overhauled this whole menu. So a lot of this wasn't here. I see. Yeah. That's why I have new favorites. All right, next up, we've got the uh, kids' Takodana veggie dippers. It's black bean hummus with edible soil made of nuts, oh. chilled dipping vegetables, and a side of ranch in quotes dressing because it's plant-based. Oh, okay. So lots of plant-based seeds here. Yeah. But this is apparently a kid's meal. I don't know any kid that would just be like, yeah, a plate of vegetables, that's for me. That's for me, yeah. But as adults, it could be a good healthy snack. Yeah. Cheers. This plant-based ranch is so much better than the plant-based ra ranch at Pizza Rizzo that Brie Love made me eat. It's very good plant-based ranch. It's very dilly. It's so dilly. I love dill. It just tastes like hummus and vegetables okay. and red. I don't think your kids are going to eat this as a meal. If they will, good for you as parents. Congrats. <laughs> so this is the Outpost Puff, which is a chocolate pastry filled with gajillo chocolate mousse. Finished with Thai tea, panna cotta, spiced pineapple, and confectionery debris. Confectionery debris. debris. We are having issues with this dessert currently. My fork is stuck. Cheers. It's not an immediately no from me. Texturally, it threw me. It's so chocolatey. It tastes like like the majority of flavor I'm getting here is chocolate pudding. Yeah, like, but, but really rich chocolate pudding. I think what threw me was the texture of the pineapple cubes in the pudding. It's fine. It's, it's kind of like 1950s dessert vibes. Yeah, it's super, super moussey chocolate pudding with weird pineapple cubes on it. Rapid fire, what's your favorite thing you ate? Tuna. Tuna poke. Uh, the ribs. I like the ribs a lot. Whippy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the plant-based meatballs and hummus thing. Spicy sip, yeah. Docking Bay 7, final thoughts? Um, I liked it. It was a, it was a good meal. For me, if I'm going to eat a savory meal in Galaxy's Edge, it's going to be a run. What are you Where two you? doing? Where are going? Go You're, they're going to adopt a droid? We did it. We did it. We ate all the space food. And full? Yes. I feel full of space, but not, not like there's room for more. Yeah, like I'm full of space, space cuisine. cuisine. What was your, let's start with the lows. What were okay. your maybe skips next time? I don't love Docking Bay 7 in general. My big skip though is gonna be the dessert at Docking Bay 7. Yeah. Cause there's some really tasty dessert in this part and I just did not love that. Yeah, I also would skip probably the pot roast at Docking Bay 7. I'm not a huge pot roast fan to begin with, but also it was dry, it, was dry. it wasn't great. And I also, you know what? Buttered blue grains. Oh, yeah? Yeah, why would you order that when you could order cat sackas? Because it comes for free refill in your popcorn bucket. Yeah, but it's like too salty of popcorn and you could get delicious outpost mix. That's fair. That's fair point. Yeah. What about your favorite? Cat sackas outpost. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really, really Shocking information, right yes. Uh, my favorite's gonna actually be, again, today only, my swatch back to the regular Ronto wrap with the Zuki wrap is my winner. The Zuki wrap's fabulous. I also love the breakfast Ronto wrap. Yeah. And I think ultimately we can say, if you're gonna eat lunch or a hearty meal in Galaxy's Edge, do it at Ronto do Roasters. Do it at Ronto Roasters. Not Docking Bay 7. Not Docking Bay 7. Let us know what other lands you wanna see us eat everything in. We will eat anywhere. Go ahead and like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Now go watch Trapped in Galaxy's Edge. Bye. Bye.